Hi guys, um, today um, I just want to show you a quick introduction on, the, um, on my latest uh, frame design. It's the um, Tomoquad uh, Mosquito 110. It's basically 110 size micro quad copter. As you can see, it's very small. It's uh, just about the size of my hand. If you compare this thing, it's actually smaller than the um, Rotor X Atom, or well, or the more common one, any size 130. Actually, well, the Rotor X Atom is 122, and this one is 110. So as you can see, this is, thing is far smaller than that, or the LKTR uh, 120. If you know that uh, that frame. Um, I designed this thing to be as small as possible. Um, it's only become possible after the Rotor X releases their uh, latest props, which is the uh, RX 3525W. Uh, as you can see here, it's a quad props design. It's a really awesome uh, pr uh, props. Lots of power compared to the uh, regular two props design. And um, for comparison, I would show you this quad. This is another frame that I designed and it's currently on sale right now. It's a Tomahawk uh, 1. I have the Tomahawk 3, which is the more X configuration. This is more like a, like a tweaker, si uh, tweaker design frame. Um, so this is 130 and, and this one is... Uh, 110 so you can see the size difference on this too it's really really small and um, this thing is running on running on flip 32 mini uh, flight controller uh, because I mean a regular size flight controller which is this one as you can see is bigger than the quad itself so and this ain't gonna fit so you have to use the flip 32 mini an afro mini or the sp f3 uh, flight controller that uh, would fit in here as long as you get a 25 it's a width it's like 25 width on the side so i mean most of most mini flight controller would fit in there so um i have another one here which is the sputnik pdb i designed this thing from the ground up to support this uh power distribution board this pdb actually have all the soldered connection for um for the palolu uh voltage relayer um for the flight controllers the osd and the um receiver you can uh, use a standoff uh, solder uh, solder pads in there uh, to, to make for a cleaner build but uh, the only downside of using this is if you use this and you soldered everything in there piggybacking all the components it will be so difficult to fix it if something fail if the OSD, OSD failed then we'll have a problem there so if you want to clean build this is the way to go and this totally support it because it has the holes and everything connectors uh, for this pdb and you can also build it uh, conventional build just using the regular regular pdb and just um use a uh, what do you call um uh mount it or like using a tape to mount all the flight controllers inside so it's still a perfect fit inside you can see it's small but everything fits in there so the camera on the other end is running on i'm using a pico camera on this one um but you can use the uh the diet on 120 if that's what you like which i like it better because i, I prepare a wider point of view than this this is kind of narrow for my taste it's 90 degrees 120 is perfect, 170 is, too, 170 is just too much, so. Uh, motor is running on 1104, this is the old motor that I have uh, from my LKTR, which is, I, 
designed it. I, I removed all the parts from there and transferred it here. So, uh, and built this. But I'm also building the more powerful version, which is the 1105 motor version running on 6500 KB versus the 4000 KB on this one. This is far superior configuration. This will be running on. Uh, I'm, I'll be using this PDB, this uh, Sputnik PDB for this build. And this is actually using the conventional Flip 32 Mini uh, for this build. So it flies perfectly the same. There's, this is not, I mean, it's just that this is going to be faster because of the, uh, with the faster motor compared to this one. So, um, what else does it have? It has a, Oh, it has an OSD built in, so it's a full featured micro quad, um, a micro SD, and a 10 amp ESC. It's an XM10A, specially designed for high KB motors. Um, the receiver I use in here is the Lemon RX uh, DSMX because it's by far the smallest one you can get actually and still get a pretty good uh, transmission I mean uh, there's no dropping signal and everything never had issues with the lemon RX or you can use uh, on this one I'll be using the uh, standard PPM to uh, DSMX receiver uh, so you get two configuration I mean you can build either one whatever you want I mean you can even use an SPF3 flight control if you want on this build and just get the SPF3 mini so but on this with this matching PDB uh, there's no way you can put a different flight controller in here you're you basically have to use the Afro mini because you have it, the whole the holes and everything uh, uh, is aligned is actually aligned for the uh, for the Afro mini so and you have to use an FTDI, uh, FTDI adapter to uh, connect your flight controller to your PC. This one don't because the Flip 32 Mini has a built-in USB port. You just plug it in in there and you're good to go. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, CP antenna and a 200 milliwatts VTX. You can put up to 600 milliwatts VTX. So it's up to you on what configuration you want. Um, how it flies. It flies really, really good. It flies really fast. It's very stable in the air. I'm running better flight on this on the latest 2.6.1, running on 2 kilohertz mode. It's the perfect configuration for me. It's very stable in the air, even though it's kind of windy outside. It, it just doesn't care. Um, so, um, yeah, I guess that's it. The, the design, this design that I made, actually, you can tilt the motors so it's tiltable you can make it straight down or or 15 degrees up so it's all up to you uh, if you're a beginner maybe just move the camera angle just straight up so you won't have some some issue flying it um, because it's basically pointing pointing upwards so oh so uh, I guess that's it so my next video I'll be showing you how this thing flies and uh, if you're interested in this this is just released yesterday and it's currently on sale um, I only got like two frame left and uh, I'll be getting more next week but if you want it just give me uh, just be email me I will have all the description down below so um, I guess that's it thanks for watching